Before I proceed, this particular study is not based upon a nutritional therapy, yet the results are just incredibly amazing because they are utilizing terminology such as permanent cure. And the eloquence in regard to this is it is a very, well at least at this point in time, appears to be a very simple treatment, or I should say it's a treatment protocol, and the results are, in their terms, a permanent cure in reference to the hepatitis B virus. In this case, chronic hepatitis B infection. With that in mind, let us proceed. Also, as a caveat, or I should say, not as a caveat, as other reference, the links to the full study will be there, and please keep in mind, this is an animal study. It needs to be replicated in humans with the exact same outcome in order for any solid recommendation to be made by a medical practitioner. Just the same, all the information will be there for you to follow. Now to proceed as follows. Checkmate for hepatitis B virus in the liver, viruses. Researchers have for the first time succeeded in conquering a chronic infection of the hepatitis B virus in a mouse model, operative word, animal study, for now. The team showed in its publication that T-cell therapy can provide, I'm just quoting, a permanent cure. To delve into the research a little further, the new T-cell therapy was specifically developed as an approach to fighting H. BV infection and HBV associated liver cancer. It is known that in chronically infected patients, virus specific T cells either cannot be detected or they demonstrated decreased activity. Hence what the researchers did. However, if patients are able to keep the virus under control by themselves, a strong T cell response becomes detectable. Now, the obvious answer is therefore to use virus-specific T cells to make up for this deficit, quoting the researchers. The genetic information for HPV, HPV specific T cell receptors was obtained from patients with resolved infection. In the laboratory, it can then be introduced to T cells from the blood of patients with chronic hepatitis B. So basically, they're just transferring one to those who successfully combated it, to the ones which are having a difficult time with the chronic infection. In the laboratory, it can then be introduced in T cells from blood patients with chronic hepatitis B. This leads to the formation of new active T cells, which fight the virus or virus-induced cancer cells. T cells created in this way were able to completely eliminate HBV-infected cells in cell culture but the researchers discovered they needed a little extra assist in order to make sure that this was a permanent cure in regard to animal models. So they had to add a different pharmaceutical, so to say, to proceed. Immune cells were then tested in a humanized mouse model. A single dose of the receptor-modified T cells from the individuals who complete, uh, I should say, successfully combated it, was sufficient to control a virus in the liver. Hereby, the T cells only attack infected liver cells and spared healthy tissue, which is amazing. We're going to repeat that again from the full study itself. But to proceed, Merclodex B, if I'm pronouncing that appropriately, an experimental drug developed by the professors, was then administered to prevent the virus from infecting healthy liver cells again as soon as the T cells had stopped circulating. As a result, Quoting verbatim, the infection was completely cured. Now to go back to the full study and hopefully encourage you to review it as well. And I'm only taking one line out of it because it's important. Engineered T cells specifically cleared infected hepatocytes, hepatocytes, hepatocytes without damaging non infected cells. And it was a fast result after the first treatment, or I should say only treatment in regard to T cells, single injection. And the results began to become phenomenal after about seven to 10 days. Henceforth, leading to the conclusion of the research in the animal model, a permanent cure. Again, with the caveat, 
The information has to be reduced in larger clinical settings with actual people in order to make sure that these results will be validated in the real world. In any case, I like doing these videos in regard to these uh, breakthroughs that are basically through the route of just traditional medical science because it keeps attention on the topic and hopefully encourages future clinical trials at a larger scale with people as well. I hope you find this information of use. Again, all the links will be there for you. I greatly appreciate you listening. Thank you very much. And I look forward to see you all once again in seven days. Catch you then.